today I have the pleasure of speaking with Nico Kakos from Argentina Lithium and Energy. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Now, Nico, Argentina Lithium and Energy is a new, a new story for us at Investor Intel, and I want you to tell me why we should all get on board. Well, Argentina Lithium is a new story, not just to Investor Intel. It's a new story right now in the market, but it, we're not new uh, to uh, Argentina and to Lithium. We all follow lithium. So why Argentina lithium? Why, why there? Well, Argentina is in the lithium triangle, where, which produces half of the world's lithium. And it, most of that comes from Chile. Argentina, underexplored country, has humongous potential to be the largest producer. And of course, I was reading about the lithium triangle, which you're, you just referenced. And of course, is the lithium better there? Or can you explain, can you dumb it down for some of us investors? Lithium is lithium. But in the form that it's found in is found in like these dried up salt lakes, salars, so, or brines, which is very different than getting lithium out of hard rock. It's much cheaper, much more effective. I was reviewing your PowerPoint, and you certainly seem to have a competitive advantage with your people. It looks like you've amassed a really stellar team. Can you give us a little bit more about who you have on your team? Well, our team has got, there's two layers that are really important in our team. Joe Grosso and the Grosso Group, we have 24 years of continuous experience in Argentina. This year, our group, our Joe Grosso, the leader of the group, was inducted in the Argentine Mining Hall of Fame. So we have, we know how to deal with Argentina at all levels, governments, vendors, regulators, everything. I also noticed on your team that you seem to have a technology expert. Do you have an, an interesting extraction technology or tell us a little bit more about this yes, gentleman? We, we have Dr. Daniel Galley. Dr. Galley is a uh, professor of thermodynamics at the University of Jujuy in Argentina. And he also has his own patents that has put other uh, lithium, uh, lithium mines into production. And you have an interesting background in finance. It's a relatively new story. Can you tell us what you're planning on doing with Argentina Lithium and Energy over, say, the next couple of quarters? Well, with Argent in the next couple of quarters, we have one project right now in the largest salar of Argentina. We plan to be testing that and depending on the results, begin proving up a resource on that and also accumulating a lot more lithium projects into our portfolio. So Nico, you seem to understand the lithium market. Can you tell us, a lot of our investors out there going, oh, everyone's doing lithium and uh, we don't need as much lithium for all these different projects. Can you comment on the overall lithium market and why you're in the right place at the right time? Well, lithium is scarce. The demand is there. We're seeing it. We're seeing it. The approaches that we're getting from various battery companies from around the world as recently as yesterday, we were approached by companies from China and uh, from Germany. We have a lot of support in Argentina. Argentina plans to make lithium a big uh, industry, and we're going to be a big player in that area. Well, Nico, that sounds very interesting, and we look forward to getting regular updates on Argentina lithium. Thank you. I, I look forward to it. <music>